There are potential benefits and risks to cloning, both in agriculture and in medicine. Some of these overlap with the benefits and risks of selective breeding and asexual reproduction, which you learn about elsewhere in the course. One benefit of cloning is that it produces offspring with known characteristics quickly. This is faster than achieving the same results by selective breeding. What other benefits are there? Another benefit of cloning is that it can be used to preserve endangered species. If a species was at the edge of extinction and there were not many individuals around, cloning might be the only way for it to reproduce. So what about the risks? A risk of cloning is that it reduces the gene pool, so there is a greater risk of widespread damage by disease. If one plant in a crop is susceptible to a disease, then they will all be. What other potential risks are there for cloned organisms? Another risk of cloning is that clones may not be as healthy as the original organism. Dolly the sheep, the first mammal famously to be artificially cloned, died much younger than the sheep she was cloned from. So how do the benefits compare to the risks? The following table summarises some of the main benefits and risks associated with cloning. So one benefit is that it produces offspring with known characteristics quickly and it can preserve endangered species. However, cloning reduces the gene pool, so there is a greater risk of widespread damage by disease. And clones may not be as healthy as the originals. Make sure that you familiarize yourself with some of the benefits and risks of cloning for the exam. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE biology course. See you there.